Hi, I'm Alejandro from Semantic Composing. If you have seen more videos from this channel or if you belong to the Semantic Composing community, you probably know me, I'm instructor here and tech coach at Momentum Program. So normally I do tutorials here in this, in this channel. I show how to do certain functions with uh, composing, tech, uh, logic, libraries but today i want to take a different role i want to be like you a new composer who's starting with composing and producing orchestral music the first thing that we need is of course a daw but then also we need libraries and it's very important that our libraries can cover all our needs right now in the market there are many options so for example there is the Vienna Synchron Prime Edition brand new from last month released BBC from Spitfire also options from East West native instruments there are many but I think that the Synchron Prime Edition from Vienna and uh, Symphony Library it's a very affordable and complete option, which includes more instruments than their competitors uh, and their price. So it, it really has all the instruments that you will need in the orchestra for around $500 euros. I think they are now in offer, so go buy it before it raises the price. But well, I'm gonna be just you during this process and do exactly everything you have to do. Get in the libraries, building a template, installing everything and making everything ready for composing. And then I'm gonna share these templates with you in Logic Pro. I'm gonna transform now in a new composer, gonna go to the computer and I'm gonna show you the steps that we have to do. So the first step in my opinion would be to open an iLock account and download the, the licensor manager, the software to your computer. Why is that? Because Vienna now works with iLock in the cloud. You don't need any more like a dongle. You will understand later better why I start with iLock and not directly with the BSL website and buying the libraries. So it's very easy. You just go and create a free account. And once you create it, you will have a menu, something like this, and you will then download the license manager. Okay, that's very important. After you have done this and very important, that you remember what email you have registered with in the iLock account, then you would go to Vienna, bsl.co.at. So the first thing before buying anything is you create an account in the Vienna Symphonic Library website with the same email that you have used for iLock. And once you have done this, you go into your account, you go to my BSL, you will see here a space to connect your iLock account with that. Okay, so just put the same email and once it's connected, when you buy a library, it will be automatically added to your iLog account so you don't have to do anything. So you would go here and my recommendation is to get the Prime Edition plus getting advantage of all the free instruments that they are offering. So I would go here and I would go to the Prime Edition. I would put it into the basket. I'm going to go back to the shop because I'm gonna add also the free instruments. You can take a deeper look into the website to see exactly what is everything that is offering Sync on Prime. I'm not gonna explain it now, but yeah, basically like I would add also Big Bang Orchestra free, add to the basket is zero euros. And then you would add to your basket also the Fujara Fruit, the Soft Imperial, which is the piano, Celestial String, Bayern Rans, and Arglisandos. So you proceed with the checkout, now, the next step would be to go in my BSL to my downloads and here download your Vienna Assistant for Mac OS or for Windows. So after that, it's cool if you open your license manager and you can check all the licenses that you have from the instruments that you have bought, that if everything is correct, all the free instruments in the Synchron Primer Edition should be here. Very important to know that the free instruments, you have to move them. It's easy, like, uh, for example, you take one thing and you drag it and drop it. You have to move them to your computer, okay? They don't, cannot be in the cloud. And if for any reason, in any time, the instruments of Vienna wouldn't work, the first thing I would do is to check this program, the iLock License Manager, and look if you are logged in. Because if you are logged out, perhaps it's that why the instruments are not working. So if we have everything registered, then we will go to Vienna Assistant 
And the first thing I recommend you is to go and uh, go to preferences and set up where you want a download location and default library location. This concept is easy, okay? Like download is where you want the data to be downloaded. And after it downloads, it automatically starts installing it. And when it's installed, it deletes it from the download location. And library location is where you want to store all your um, libraries, not the installers, but just directly the libraries. So once you have done this, first of all, you would download the Syncom player, very important, and be an Ensemble Pro if you want to use it or if you want to buy it too. But the Syncom player is the player that we are going to use to load our instruments and to be able to use them into our project. After Syncron Player and installing it, which is standalone and also a plugin, you will have here also the free instruments. You download them and then you also download Syncron Prime Edition. If everything works correctly, when you open the Syncron Player, which is here now, it looks like that. The instrument should, should show here, like in Hello Free Instruments and Syncron Prime Edition. If it doesn't show for any reason, just go here, the range, Check that in the database, it is added to the location where the library is. You can add it here with plus. So this was all the previous steps. I wanted to do it step by step because I know that sometimes some people are having troubles with tech installing programs. So I hope that I have explained myself correctly and that you can follow all the steps. So now we are in Logic and we have created a new project. We want to build a template that has all the basics, but perhaps if you are new with composing and producing orchestral music, probably you will want to have a template which is not super big so that it has all the basic instruments of orchestra, but without being super large. So my recommendation is to start perhaps with a Logic Stock instrument can be like a piano, will be light. I will duplicate it with um, Command D. I will make three of them. I'm gonna call it sketching piano one, two, three. All three will be just for sketching. I'm gonna keep creating instruments tracks, just double clicking or clicking a command option and S. It creates a software instrument. After the sketching instruments, I like to make my template in the order where the instruments appear in the score in an orchestra. So I would start with the woodwinds. So I would start with basics. It would be like a flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. Very important now, it's to color them. I like color coding. So you click Alt, like uh, Alt or Option C. It shows the colors and I want all of them to be green. And for showing the colors, I have to go here, track header components and track color bars. So once I have done this, I would do it also with the brass, with the percussion basics, with the strings. But uh, very important, when I have all my woodwinds, I would select them all, click create track stack, sum in stack and create. And I would call this woodwinds. Why I do that? Because with this, I can hide and show quickly my woodwinds and also they get automatically rooted to this. When I play a flute, it will go automatically to the woodwinds pass and oboe and clarinet and bassoon. It will go through here, which I can mute and solo easily. And from here, it will be to the stereo out. Also, it's very easy this way. Just if you want to export only the woodwinds, you can select this track and go to file export and it would export all the woodwinds in one or you can just solo this and bounce from here okay it's two ways to export uh, stems okay so after that what i would do is just like basically i would open this would select these four instruments and where it says here instrument i would just load my synchron player in stereo if you select four of them it will open the four of them next time i like to do is to click on this thing so that every time i change from an instrument it moves to the next, uh, like if you have it deactivated and I want to show the oboe, I have to click here again and it shows me this plugin, which you can end up with dozens of plugin windows in your screen and that's something I don't like. So I just do it like that and then I go to the flute, I look for Synchron Prime Edition, Woodwinds, Dispatch, when it says that Velocity, FX, SUS and mod, it means that those articulations will be played by the velocity that you play your keyboard and those who are like long like legatos or harmonics uh, will be controlled by a modulation 
wheel or you know continuous controller one like cc1 okay so it does it automatically that's my preferred pre um, option but if you want to go control everything with modulation wheel you can do it like here and or if you want to control everything with velocity just do it here in this case i will load here just a flute and you will see that this is like that maybe you have all color it i don't have color it is just because i have in the options i have force disable all slots by default but you can activate it just like by double clicking it and it will load uh, the samples into your ram okay so i would do the same with the oboe the clarinet the bassoon and then to go to the brass and the percussion and the keys and strings so let's see let me work on that for a while and let me show you how it looks after this all right so i have finished already my template my simple template okay as you can see it's around 33 tracks so it's not that big and taking into account that some of them are like the folders it's not bad at all okay i want to explain you just a little bit of what i have done the sketching pianos i have put them also in a folder just to be able to mute or uh, them quickly the woodwinds i have selected different color and also uh, cl by clicking here right clicking you can select uh, an icon and i have done the same with the brass percussion keys and strings so if you can see like for example i added here this one orchestra is actually the big band orchestra which is free okay it's just a full orchestra here i'm not interested in that but I, as you can see in brass i have added horns trumpets trombones tuba and one track from brass ensemble because one practice i like to do a lot is to orchestrate separately for the sections and then together as a brass ensemble to copy and layer it with percussion i have stayed a little bit small so just timpani and glockenspiel as basics and then some orchestra kits where it has many so depending on what which one you select it will play triangle or snare drum so after that keys and harp piano celesta and harp the basic keys okay not more needed for starters and strings of course violins one violin two violas celli basses plus a string ensemble patch okay these because they are long you can control them with modulation wheel yes so the next step would be probably to add the rest of three instruments maybe adding like these uh, celestial strings so what i'm going to do is just duplicate one of the tracks that i have already in the strings go here and change this for celestial strings and i already have them okay and i would do this with Pujara flute with violin runs piano soft all right so i have already added the Fujara flute to the piano with the imperial soft and added the celestial strings but violin runs so i would have already this and the next step would be to add some reverbs for the reverbs i would like to go to the mixer and apply them not to the individual instruments but just to all the passes okay so what i'm gonna do is always load reverbs as a send because we want to be able to control how much of a signal we want to pass through the reverb or not and i'm going to create two reverbs okay i'm going to put it in bus 20 i would create this reverb and one is going to be i'm going to call it like reverb and the other is a room why because one of them is going to recreate when i use the chroma verb this is going to add some more reverberant sound to the overall sound so make it a little bit warmer and nicer in the room i'm going to use spaces like space designer for example, is I'm just using free alternatives. Here are the, the presets, large spaces, hole, and let's choose a wormhole. This way I have a little bit of warmness plus putting all the sounds into a room. Last but not least in this simple template would be to add articulation sets if you want, okay? The articulation set is, uh, for example, if you know what keys which is are, which is like some keys of the keyboard that allows you to navigate from long notes to short notes to legato to sforzando and different of them so when you select those ones you play long when you select this one you play short and there are some keys in this case would be like a c a c like down below here these keys 
very low in the keyboard, you can switch between these uh, options to play different articulations, some long notes. All right, but there's an easy option. It's uh, from Babylon Waves. You can buy it or you can create them yourself, but Babylon Waves already provides it. That it's where you go here to articulation set, you can click here and this art conductor for logic will show up where you have all like major vendors of libraries. So in this case, I would navigate to BSL and I would find Synchron Prime Edition Woodwinds Loot 1, which is the patch that we have used. And I would do exactly the same for all the instruments. What that allows me is that, for example, if you go to with B to Smart Tools and you go to Key Switches, you can see here and click the keys of Okay, you can switch between the different articulations for chando with vibrato. Very cool things. Okay, you can do it from here. Even if you have played some notes, let me do it. You can also go to the piano editor and select, for example, I want the three of them to be long notes. You select them, you go here to articulation, you select the, for example, I want this legato with vibrato. And I want it, pom, pom, pom. I want it to be like portato agile. And this to be staccato, and this to be long as it is. sounds way nicer. That's really definitely a good point. So I would do it to all of them. This option with the articulation, you can create them yourself, but it's easier if you just buy it from Babylon Waves. I do it. It works for me, but you can also use the template without that. This template will be at your disposal now. So you can download this template and use it just with Synchron Prime Edition and the free instrument from VSL plus Logic Stock uh, plugins. If you take a look for example, in the plugin in the Vienna Synchron um, Prime Edition, you will see that there are a lot of instruments that I'm not even using. So I could expand this template way more. Why not doing that? Let's do that. That step would be basically just to add all the missing instruments. So for example, uh, I will duplicate this track three times. In the first one, I'm going to call it Piccolo. Next one, I'm going to call it Flute 1. And the next one, I'm going to do it Flute 2. So I would do exactly the same with everything like oboe one two plus angular horn clarinet one two plus bass clarinet the same with the brass the same with uh, percussion like all the percussion instruments that offer there are many i would create like a bigger template so i'm gonna work on that and i will show you in a moment how it would look like so we have now the bigger template but it's now collapsed so i'm just gonna click option click here to open all the folders yeah so now it's quite bigger before it was 33 tracks now we have 61 as you can see we have added all the instruments to the woodwinds that are available in the synchron prime edition to the brass to the percussion to the keys our glissandos included and to the strings. The strings didn't change much or anything at all, <laughs> but at least that the brass and woodwinds, now we have all the instruments. That would be like a more expanded version. The routings of reverbs would be the same, okay? Then you can adjust how much you want to pass to the this chroma verb and how much you want to the room emulation, okay? In the future, I will make a couple of videos about reverb and I will explain in depth why I make two different reverbs and why I mean by reverb and room, okay? One is algorithmic, the other is convolution. I will explain in detail. So I will also offer for you this template to download, this expanded template with all the possibilities and all the instruments of Synchron Prime Edition. If you're a demanding composer and you already know some things, and you would want to separate even for the mixing later and for the different reverbs, long and short notes, we could even expand more this template. How would we do it? It's just like duplicating whatever we have. So having all these instruments for woodwinds, four longs, and then another four shorts. So the thing I would do is just duplicate like command D, all the woodwind stack, and I would use these woodwinds to be the long attacks and these woodwinds to be the short attacks. Perhaps I would add also something like that for the longs and something like that for the shorts. So I'm going to do it with the woodwinds, I'm going to do it with the brass, I'm going to do it with the strings, which are the sections that I mostly want to divide between long and short attacks. That 
has a lot to do with reverb and with mixing because with short attacks you can have a shorter reverb so that you have more effect of a short spicy attack and with long attacks long articulations like legatos um, tremolos harmonics sustains all that they can tolerate a way longer reverb so that's why some people like to do it like that so i'm gonna prepare it right now so finally we have got to the hugest of our templates that we can do i mean we can do it much bigger of course with synchron prime edition but to sum it up it would contain like sketching patches three pianos you can put more if you need for sketching a bbc orchestra for longs and for shorts how i preset the shorts what i do is like i open the plugin and i click here i select this by default before saving if i go to the longs you will see that long notes are is by default selected and it happens the same with the flute here it will be long notes selected and the, with the flute here in shorts shorts are selected all of them are mapped also with the babylon waves articulation sets and this will be also available for you okay so i will explain you shortly what i have done it's basically what the same i said like i duplicated the woodwinds so when I want to play low woodwinds like sustains, I will record from this set. When I want to play short notes, I will record it from this set. And it will be very useful thanks to the track stacks to export the stems, like export the sections together for later mixing, just because I have created this track stack where all these tracks before going to the output, it goes through here. You can mute, solo, just control the volume or add plugins to the whole section of long and short attacks. Same I have done with the brass, long and shorts, and with the strings. And what I have done is also dividing the percussion, okay, between unpitch and pitch. And if you have been like, have to look with a little bit detail, uh, I have also colored both woodwinds in green, but it's a little bit darker, so I can differentiate uh, both of them also with the brass, this is more orange and a darker orange. And I'm going to do the same with the percussion. I'm going to select the pitch percussion and I'm going to make it this one darker. And for the reverbs, last, what I have done is for the groups that were short, I'm going to collapse everything again, just with option and click. With the ones that are shorts, I have created new buses, 22 and 23, which are here, reverb for short, room for short. And I have preloaded some other patches that are like a little bit shorter, just like 1.3 uh, decay here. And also the space is 1.49. So it's way shorter. And basically with all these uh, three libraries, depending on the type of composer that you are, I would recommend you to use one or another. Uh, if you are like mostly a beginner, I recommend you to start with the basic one because you really don't need to go that in detail, but you can later start with a more complicated one as long as you start understanding how everything works. So as you can see, it looks nice. It has a lot of possibilities. You will have the three versions available for download. And after that, for the next video, what I'm going to do is to compose a short track with this template just to show everything that this can do. Okay, and explain you how I have done it. And that to convince you that you don't really need thousand tracks, you need thousand libraries. Just one good library with all the basic instruments are enough to create great music. And I encourage you not only to download this template, but also to using like the same logic to create your own template. Perhaps you like to encapsulate in track stacks the instruments different separate high from low instruments whatever use more reverbs there are many possibilities so we are now at the end of this video so i hope that you have liked it click on like post some comments i hope that you have learned a lot and then you can enjoy these templates and also being able to create yours and start composing music quickly okay the point of this is that you can have this ready as soon as possible and concentrate and focus on making music so this has been alejandro from cinematic composing and i wish you a good day see you in the next video